Sue, any rules of thumb regarding persistent deciduous canine extraction? Uh, always extract ankylose tip. Well, um, that, uh, Sue, that's a good question. The, the tip itself uh, is not actually ankylose. The, 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 the whole tooth root starts to undergo resorption, um, but it's not ankylose per se. So if you have a tooth that's still persistent and you extract it and you can see a periodontal ligament space around that tip, just like in any other tooth, whether it's deciduous or adult, that means that you need to make sure that you get that out of there. Now, that being said, uh, I'll, I'll, our patients are not going to tell us if that becomes a problem for us. So we have, as practitioners, probably extracted teeth that were deciduous canines that we left the root tips and we thought, well, we've done, you know, five of those in the last couple of years or the last year and it didn't cause any problems. So we'll just continue to do that. The problem is that is an open pulp cavity with a great uh, soup for bacteria to colonize. So bacteria will get, get in that, that open pulp cavity and will cause inflammation, cause infection, and the body's eventually going to take care of that. But the problem is the patient probably is not going to show that they're discomforted. And usually the only way we know for sure in our instance is if the, the puppy or uh, the, uh, usually shows that there are problems there because it's, it, it paws at the face or shows other signs. And in that case, usually we get the patient in and we look and there's a fistula there that has opened up in the soft tissue adjacent to that tooth root. So we always want to get that if we can, give, give it uh, the benefit of the doubt that it is indeed still a potential problem. And if you see that periodontal ligament space around the tooth root tip, uh, if you fracture that tooth root, then you should, do, you should attempt to go after that. But at, at the same time, above all else, don't do any harm. You can open up a flap. Uh, if you're doing surgical extractions, you can go mesial or distal either way of the, of the tooth. Usually it's easier to do it distal because you avoid uh, the canine tooth if it's really close, which it usually is. Uh, that's the adult canine. So um, you can do a flap to better visualize that and make sure that you get that out. Oh, Lord.